What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today we're taking a look at the new Rococo head rig. Now, I've had this for about a month now. Rococo has sent this out to me. And instead of doing a video review right away, I actually wanted to spend some time with it, put it through its paces just to make sure that I got everything right before I brought the information out to everybody out there. Now, right off the top, I can say there's two things that I absolutely like about this head rig compared to the other one. The first one being is it has this USB cable attached to it. So if I'm using something like iClone, I can easily hook this right into my computer and get started right away, which I'll show you here in a minute. And then also I can hook it up to my Android phone, which I have the Samsung Fold 5 here. Just plug it right in, start up the app, and it just connects right to your laptop or your computer or wherever you're running Rococo Studio. And then the second thing that I liked about it is it's extremely light. Like that's why I'm wearing it while I'm talking right now because you can barely feel it. Like I have the other head rig and if you watched my video before when I was making a Fortnite game, I was using this one and I used it with the iPhone on the back it has a weight which is kind of heavy because what it is it's doing is counterbalancing the iphone that you have at the end there and so you did feel the weight on the back of your head a little bit and then the phone on the front just kind of made it weird as you're bouncing your head so with this headset right here it's extremely light i don't really feel it when i have it on and it's really comfortable to work with now when you first receive it you're going to get it in this long rectangular box just like it was with the other one and it's going to come in two pieces which is extremely easy to put together you just snap it together you put some of the siding in there and that's it you're ready to go so for the first test if you have iClone as I alluded to earlier it's extremely easy to get set up if you're looking at my screen right here I have AccuFace It's the plugin that you're gonna need for it and right here under camera under source you want to come over here on the right hand side and you want to select where it says Rococo head cam select this one right here and then give it a moment or two and you should see yourself inside the window now I do have the light on just to illuminate myself a little bit more, but let's rotate it so we can actually have it going straight up. So right here under orientation, I'm just gonna flip it over once and there we go. So now what we wanna do is we wanna calibrate it, but you might be asking about tracking mode. We have head cam and we have static. I would say maybe experiment with both because if I'm not moving around with the motion capture suit, like right now I just have it with the head cam, I just had static and I was getting good results. But if I have a suit on, which I'll do that in the next example, you might wanna go with the head rig. So for right now, I'm just gonna leave it on static cam and resolution, you might think that you wanna go with the highest, but I found that you get better fidelity if you go at the lowest resolution. So right here, I'm gonna go with 1024 by 768. I'm gonna click on that. And now let's come down here to calibrate facial capture. So I'm gonna select this and right here, well, we have our facial calibration. We're gonna start with neutral face and then hit set expressions. So let me look forward. There we go. So the next one is eyebrows raised, which I'll do now. Then we do brow drop. And then this one always kinda, I don't know, this one's kinda where it says brow in a raise. I never get this right, but let's try it anyway. And hopefully that was good enough. So now, that I have that set up there. Oh, and this is a pro tip too. So when you have AccuFace, if you want it to always be on top, we have this little box right here. If you select this, now if I select this side of iClone, it should always stay on top. So that's a big tip right there because you're gonna be clicking around iClone as well, in which I'm clicking iClone and you can see that this is still staying on top so we can always see it. So let me actually move this over so we can see my face. Okay, so if I come up here to plugins, come down here to motion live, we wanna turn on motion live. So now from here, under facial, you wanna turn on AccuRig, and then where it has your character, mine says male African, go to click on this right here, this box, turn on AccuRig. Now you should see everything light up. So what I'm gonna do first is auto blank. I usually like to just put it on normal, but we're just gonna do a preview for right now. We're not gonna do any recording. We just wanna make sure that it calibrated. So under preview, I'm gonna select this, and then I'm gonna hit the space bar. And you can see that the character, let me move this over a little bit. So it might get a little bit funky. That's because I'm looking down. So let me look straight ahead. You should get better reactions if you're actually looking straight ahead. Don't have your head turned down or anything. But as you can see, it's tracking the eyes pretty well. It's doing, if I'm closing my eyes, it's doing that pretty well. 
and then the mouth is also coming out pretty decent and so what you'll want to do if i did a tutorial on this before is you want to actually do your motion capture with the audio and then that way you could go through and you could clean it up on the back end but right now we're just doing a live motion just to show a test on the type of results that we could get and then also if you come down here under strength you can always come down here and play around with these different attributes as well like if i wanted to say like the mouth isn't going the way that i want you can always move this up and down to those examples same thing with the smile there and you know just go through these different attributes and play around with them like i said with the other head cam i did do a full tutorial on how to use accuface with it so go through that it's about 20 minutes long but let's go over to our coco studio with the motion capture suit and see how we can get everything all tied in at once so as you saw right there, if you use an iClone, it's extremely simple to just plug into your computer and get set up. Now let's get it set up using our Coco Studio with the full outfit. So that's going to be the gloves, the suit, and the head cam all working in unison. But before we start, let me give you a quick tip real quick. So the way that I typically like to do the motion capture with Rococo is I have this Wi-Fi router that is dedicated only to the suit. So a lot of people will ask me like, how do you get the cleanest data that you can? You wanna have a dedicated router. I'll leave this one in the link down below. I got it cheap off of Amazon, but I've been using this even to do mocap with Mixmaster Mike, which DJ is extremely fast on the turntables and they kept up with them and everything. So that's just my tip there. Everything that I'm going to be doing from here on out, I'm not gonna be using my internet driven router. I'm gonna be using a dedicated router as you just saw. So getting set up with the headset was extremely easy. You just download the app right there on your phone. I'm using the Samsung Fold 5. So once you have the app in there, all you have to do is plug the headset to your phone using a USB cord. Then it's gonna see that the headset is connected to your phone, which should be connected to Rococo Studio via your Wi-Fi router. So as you can see right here, I'm just walking around my living room, just casually doing facial movements because when you're doing motion capture in general, you want to really exaggerate even your facial motion capture just so it comes across within the software. So I'm just doing a lot of like eye popping and mouth movements just so you can see inside the viewport that everything is correlating with the head cam all in real time. Now you do want to leave the app open. I found if I close the app, sometimes the head tracking won't work anymore. So I left the app open and I just put it right there in my pocket. That's why I have the hoodie on. So I was able to just slide it right through. But you can see from this demo that I'm walking around, I'm doing hand gestures. I'm, you know, moving my mouth and everything. And it's not that bad. Like even if I go to the viewport and over on the right hand side, there are some attributes that you can actively adjust over there. So if you're not getting something that is to your liking, you can always exaggerate it. Like you could go with the eyes, you could go with the eyebrows, you have the mouth adjustments there, you have the jaw adjustments. So if you want something to be a little bit more extreme or a little bit less extreme, if you have your character selected, that should pop up over there. So just right here, I'm doing facial gestures. Again, I'm just doing exaggerated facial movements. And you can see that we're getting the information from the head cam into Rococo Studio, all just over the Wi-Fi. Now I would say all in all, it's not bad. Like I do prefer this headset over the other one that uses the iPhone strictly because of, like I said earlier, this one is a lot lighter. So you could do a lot longer mocap sessions without your neck getting exhausted because you don't have the weight on the back of your head. That's just pulling your head back while the phone is trying to pull your head forward. So I would, if you have like an Android device, I would highly recommend this one over the other one. Now just to cap everything off, for me, the way that I typically do motion capture, I like doing it in sections. And so I would do the facial motion capture inside of iClone. I did this in a previous tutorial when I was doing it with the iOS version, when I was building out the Fortnite game, I did the facial motion capture separate from the body motion capture. And that way, if I had to go through and make any other takes, I can always just go through, drag and drop the facial animations right onto my character. And I didn't have to worry about it. Of course, this is all inside of iClone, which I like to personally use because you you have the drag and drop features that are extremely easy to use but i would say do your motion capture put that onto your character and then maybe act it out and do the facial motion capture separate use an iclone and i found that for me that was the best way to go but yeah i would say this one right here i think we have a winner when it comes to headsets so once again my name is winbush subscribe if you're new and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i catch you in that next video i see you soon take care what up, what up, Wimbush here. And my friends over at Rococo recently created this indie creator bundle in which you'll get the smart gloves, you get the smart suit too, 
and you get your choice of the headset whether you want the one that connects to the ios like you see right here which i used on my fortnite game that i created with method man or more recently they just released this one that works with android devices and not only that if you use my discount code down there in the description or in the comments you can save five percent on a creator bundle once again that comes with the gloves the suit and the headset whatever you want to use for your facial capture and then also make sure you check out my full youtube channel where i have a ton of rococo tutorials and behind the scenes footage for projects i've worked on in the past 